Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you what we bought when we were in Edmonton and um, it's going to be just a couple items. So not that big of a haul. So the first thing I'm going to show you is I went to a store called Urban Behavior and they had um, some clearance racks out with some stuff and um, I picked up this dress. And I had a hard time finding the size and they actually had lots but because it's such a nice design everybody was trying it on so when I was going to the fitting room to try something else on I noticed the rack where they they hang the stuff that they're gonna put back on the floor and there was like quite a few there so good thing I, I went to the fitting rooms to try something or I wouldn't have found it so this is the one And it's got like a lot of print on it so if you're not into print then you probably wouldn't like this style but I thought it was really nice and summery and it's got the little like uh, what do you call that I don't know embroidered sort of thing and then you can pull this and tighten it and um, it's not too long not too short so it's actually a pretty good length I find a lot of times the dresses are like way too short for me because I have long legs so it really looks short it looks like a top so I have to be very careful even when I'm ordering dresses online like they say it's a dress but the, the person wearing it you can see that it's really short so I, that's where my problem is and this is the back of it and it's got like a bell kind of sleeve so I think this is kind of pretty and I paid ten dollars well nine ninety eight for this so with the tax it came to ten dollars and fifty cents so that's a pretty good price and I really like the print. I'm not too big into like prints and stuff, but I liked it. I thought it suits summer and I said, well, you know, it's a nice dress to throw on. Like if you're going to visit friends or whatever. And then uh, I went to Bed Bath & Beyond. And I think you guys have this store in the States. I don't know if it's called the same name or what. And I'm trying to stock up on my clothes hangers because I'm running out. And reason being, I buy so much clothes online that I always need these. And I like the crystal type ones. So it's got like a, a design on them. And there's a... There is how many in here? Seven, a set of seven. And it was $8.99 for the set. So I thought that was a pretty good price for that. I got two sets and I can actually still order them online if I need any more. And uh, my mom is coming and I want to make some room in the closet. So I needed some hangers as well. Plus I've got more clothes coming. So I got two sets of these. They have the pant ones as well. And you can use them for like skirts and stuff. But I don't really have a lot of skirts. I've got a couple and I have hangers for them. Because I don't really buy. I buy a lot of dresses and tops. So on jeans I always fold them and put them away. I don't hang them. So I got two sets of these. And um, I had a coupon come to me in the mail from... Uh, what was it called? Payless and I was actually gonna throw it out. I wanted to send it for my mom and um, It can only it could only be used in Canada So I couldn't send it to her so I was gonna throw it out and then my fiance Decided we would take a trip to Edmonton because um, he had to get something there he wanted to buy and I said, well, good thing I didn't. And I needed a, a comfortable pair of shoes, walking shoes, like for when I take the dog out. I mean, I have a pair, but it's really old now. And I wanted something that I can take him out in. I can, 
just slip my foot in and I'm gone, you know, especially if we're going to tongue and stuff, something that looks good with jeans and like capris and stuff. And um, the one that I was wearing before had the laces, so you would always have to like really try to get your foot in there and tie it up and stuff like that. So I wanted something quick and easy to slip my foot into because I do my house checks and I, I take my shoes off and I just don't want to waste a lot of time trying to get in and out of shoes. So I got these ones and they look like the Skechers but they're not. They're cheaper. They're champion and you can see I've worn them. They're actually pretty comfortable. The inside is really nice and soft and it doesn't press on my toes like other shoes would like I wore a pair of shoes to Edmonton to walk in the mall and it just I had blisters on my toes and stuff like that so I want something that's comfortable and these are pretty good so I got $20 off I ended up paying about 30 bucks for this but if it's going to be comfortable I don't mind paying the money sometimes you pay so much for a pair of shoes and that they're just for looks because they're not comfortable and if I'm going to be doing a lot of walking I want to be comfortable nothing blistering me or I'm in pain or anything so that's these ones I like them. They had them in navy as well, but I figured, well, this color will go with a lot of stuff. So I picked that one. And um, I was going to get my bracelet clean. And the girl said that the machine, they had it repaired. They bring it in, but it wasn't working. So they had to send it out to be repaired. She sent me to another mall. But we didn't have time for that because my fiancé dropped me off at the mall and he went to do his business. So I couldn't like just jump in a, a car and drive to another mall which is like 10-15 minutes from there and it was a weekend too. So and um, so I couldn't get it clean. I was disappointed because we don't go to Edmonton very often. We might go when my mom is here but I don't know if they'll do it but anyways I wanted to get myself a Pandora charm because I love Pandora so much and you guys know that now I know you're not going to be able to see this very good because it's so tiny but it's called a forest charm I paid I think fifty dollars for this it's the forest trinity um, I can show you what it's uh, what it looks like after because I know you're not get a, gonna get a good picture of it so yeah I wanted to get pick that up for myself yeah so it's pretty hot here today and um, I haven't even done anything in the house yet I have to now go have lunch and get something done because I have to do something every day or I'm not gonna be finished so anyways guys thanks for watching my video and i hope you guys are having a good day and i hope you like my video and thanks so much for watching and i'll try to do a little video of this so you can see it better okay guys so thanks so much for watching bye bye so this is the charm guys it's got like a little leaf of i don't know this is just a bird and a little green stone in there. I think the back of this stone has the Pandora symbol on it, which I can't show you, but I think it does. And it's called the Forest Trinity Charm. Yeah, I can take it off. I'm trying to see, it's hard to move around. See, it's got the Pandora symbol on the back of it there. Yeah, so that is my Pandora charm. And um, hope you guys enjoy my video. Bye-bye, guys.